Greetings, this is Brandon with Primarily Pens. Today I have a Yardalet Viceroy Grand Victorian Fountain Pen. This is an all sterling silver pen, comes in at 66 grams, making it fairly hefty, as you'd expect from a sterling silver pen of this size. Doing a quick walkthrough, we have a highly polished surface leading down to these concentric circles, and that then leads down to this wonderful Victorian pattern. This pattern is hammered into the metal. This is not an automatic machine process. The artisans at Yard of Lead basically take individual hammer strikes to make this pattern. I'll try to do a little bit of a close-up of that. Each of those marks is an individual strike. Uh, for a pen this size and, and design complexity, you're looking at upwards of 3,000 individual strikes. What that means is, is that each pen is a little bit unique because each, each artisan uh, does it differently and each artisan you know between each pen has a little bit differences which which means you know each pen is unique and therefore adds to the charm of the pen looking at the clip also we have a kind of a fairly unique shape that's yard of lead that has that name on top of it there's two rivets holding the clip to the cap now in between the the rivets there's this number a 2933 that that seems to be a unique number um, I suppose that means this is a numbered series. I don't know what else that number could represent. If someone else has an idea, please leave a comment below. Looking at the back side of the cap, we have a clear surface for, for engraving. There's a number of, of hallmarks on this pen. On the cap, we have the 925 representing sterling silver. On the main body, you have additional hallmarks. You have the Yard of Lead Hallmark, you have more 925s, an anchor, a lion, and a W. I have no idea what those represent. If you, Again, if you have an idea, please share below. We'd all like to know. The main body has more of this wonderful pattern. It kind of tapers down a bit into a, to another high polished end with more of these concentric circles that match the surface up top. This is a pull top pen that posts. In the posted position, it is very well balanced. Uh, for a pen this, this weighty, I think it's it's pretty impressive that your lead was able to get this uh, so so nicely balanced. It's actually well balanced whether it's posted or non-posted. Um, I would go ahead and, and post it just because it is so well balanced. Taking a look at the nib, we have an 18 karat gold nib that's uh, plated in nickel. Uh, presumably to, to, to continue with this all silver appearance. There's an intricate pattern on the nib and the yard of lead printed on there. There's also a additional text right at the top here. It's, it's 925 sterling. The grip is polished and, and but actually it has a fair amount of, it actually it grips pretty, pretty well. I think probably because of the lip here and just the curvature, the slight curvature of the grip itself. Uh, actually it holds quite nicely for, for being a, a polished metal, metal grip. Now I really appreciate the, uh, the, the contrast between this highly polished grip and then the hammered surface of the barrel. Uh, I really like that tactile experience of the, of the texture of, of, of the, of the hammered and then the polished of the grip. Nicely done by, by your lead. Taking a quick look at the box. I got this pen at the end of 21. Um, this is a nylon box. I have seen earlier versions that actually were wooden with a clasp. I don't know if there was a supply change code related challenge that caused them to change or if your lead just decided to change their packaging concept. Do not know. Looking inside, we have a Yard of Lead polishing cloth, a guarantee and user guide, uh, and this was around the uh, nib and, and shipment, again, for extra protection. Uh, pretty standard. Uh, I guess if I had to choose, I would have preferred the wooden box because I like wooden boxes, but eh, c'est la vie. Uh, so there you have it, the Yard of Lead Vixoroy Grand Victorian Fountain Pen. Again, Nicely balanced, wonderful pattern. Um, just, just very well done by, by Yard Lead. Please leave comments below, take a look at my other reviews, and subscribe to Primarily Pens. I'll have additional reviews soon.